Just another day in the Big Ten, and um, uh, took everybody today. It took a took a whole bench. It took uh, some some uh, uh, some guys that maybe you haven't seen uh, a lot of play really really well, and um, uh, then obviously the return of Kofi. Um, but uh, you know, I want to start this with Devontae Williams uh, when we when we talk about our our culture you know winning is winning is unpredictable there's no way to just say we're going to win this way every time and um, uh, Chris had, had those guys ready to play they, 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 they played the heck out of Michigan the other night up there tonight was no different every game we play with Northwesterns like this and uh, and yet um, DeMonte Williams uh, doesn't look doesn't look fancy on here but all he did was nine rebounds, guard the other team's best player who was five inches taller than him most of the night, uh, come up with some, some great rebounds, and then one that, uh, that helped kind of put us over the top on an offensive rebound. And, um, you know, in a night where our guards were, were a little bit off and, and struggled, that's a tribute to Chris and, and the job they did defensively. Uh, but uh, uh, Plummer played in foul trouble, Trent's two of 10, uh, but, you know, the other side of that is Trent played 40 minutes and just guarded the heck out of whoever he was on, whether it was Adiz or Bowie. And, and, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, you go with RJ, you go with Pods, uh, two guys that, that haven't played a lot, and uh, just felt like it was the right thing to do. And it was, it was, it was we needed them all. And um, I, I love RJ's defensive prowess. I love his length, his athleticism. Um, and, uh, you know, and then Pods, we know, is an elite shooter. Uh, that one was somewhere from Kenosha or somewhere close. Um, but, uh, you know, for him and those guys not to melt and not be nervous or uptight or whatever in the middle of a Big Ten season and uh, just step in and do their job, um, I'm really happy for those guys. I, 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 I do think that... Uh, uh, Omar Payne was huge today defensively with his block shots and protecting the rim. And then it was nice to have the horse back. So um, all in all, uh, a hard fought, Big Ten win. Really proud of our depth, really proud of our team. And uh, uh, we were fortunate to sneak out of here today. Coach, it was a kind of a slow paced game. Were, were you okay with that or would you rather have sped him up a little bit? They have a really good way of kind of keeping you under wraps that way. Um, they play longer possessions. We're not a high turnover team. They don't turn it over much, even though we did four seven, I think, the first half. Um, but, um, you know, I, uh, you know me, I always want something quicker. But I was also pretty cognizant of the fact that Kofi's been out for what seems like half a season um, and was worried about his conditioning. And, uh, uh, but, um, you know, that being said, we got to play a little bit quicker. We got to take our opportunities when we were there, when they're there in transition. And um, but um, you know, the second half was a pretty pointed effort to try to get the ball inside to Kofi as often as we could. Fred, um, you said we didn't see a lot of Brandon and RJ. So what did you, what did you see in practice that gave you faith that those guys could do that? Well, I see it every day in practice, and to be very honest, had every intention of playing RJ in the Michigan State game, and uh, it just. You know, he's 6'7", he's bouncy as heck. He's, he's going to be a great, great player here. And and I it just didn't work. It wasn't it wasn't right. But, uh, you know, it was, a, it was an unusual night. Um, Jake wasn't, you know, making shots. And and, and, and these, they're, they're both compete. They're both great competitors. I think it goes to what we try to be in our program is, you know, guys continuing to work and push and grind and do individual workouts and extra lifts. And so I feel comfortable with them, uh, but they got really good players in front of them. And, you know, it's not a fear. It was more just a feeling today that, okay, we, 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 we need it. We need them. Let's see what they can bring. And, you know, I didn't think that they would, you know, stumble. I really didn't. I, that's why I put them in. How much was Kofi able to do, I guess, in the last day just to be ready? Yesterday was his day of practice. T today was his okay because he didn't have symptoms. Prior to that, he could dry, dry run offense. That was it.
So those are our protocols. There's steps that go along with that. And there's three or four others before that. So yeah, day. I guess what to say about him that he was able to come in, you know, 10 of 17, 22 points, maybe be one of the reasons he did win this one. Probably is. Yeah, it's, I mean, he's he's a, he's a competitor. He's a winner. He's a guy that uh, is going to fight you. And, and uh, um, you know, I, I was very conscious of his, you know, it's hard. It's hard when you're out for a while to get a feel of the ball and a flow. And, you know, to be very honest, we ran some actions we haven't ran in a while. You know, because we haven't had him. So, um, you know, that was part of the stagnant piece on the offensive end. We just weren't very fluid. We did a lot of standing tonight. So, you know, we had him yesterday, and we got to get back to to understand we'll have him. Coach, everyone's going to remember Demonte's dunk, but to force two miss, well, one miss on Pete Nance, and then a kick out, and then a defensive rebound, all in a pretty short stretch. What's that say about him and what he's able to bring you guys? It's what I've been saying for – my, his whole career, you know, winning is very hard to define. Um, so I just, you know, I, I think that Iz said it the best the other night, right? And in post game, you know, that's why we won. And his numbers didn't show up here. It's just who he guards and how he, how he fights and how he competes. He's not afraid to make a play. He was incredible in the locker room at halftime, uh, in the huddles. It's just put a big capital W by his name. It seems like the light's gone on for Omar Payne a little bit in games, bringing what he had in practice early. W what's that transition for him been like? And what what's made him kind of grow here as a player? Well, he's an unbelievable kid. And um, Jeff Alexander has done a terrific job, and Fletch have done a terrific job of not letting that young man get discouraged. Mm -hmm. And and yet his individual workouts every single day, he never misses a workout. He gets an extra lift. Um, you know, he's he's set all new limits in, in his lifting almost weekly. And um, so for him to not get discouraged mentally is a big tribute to those guys. Um, and uh, yeah, he just continues to grow. And uh, you know, now he understands terminology. He's starting to understand what we're doing. And, and we saw today his impact. Um, especially on the offensive end and or on the defensive end, excuse me. Coach, what do you think the flashes from the freshman Luke the other night and those two tonight can mean pushing forward? I hope a lot. I, I know it's made me feel really comfortable, and uh, you know I think that uh, you the more moments that you put them in, um, and the the more stress you put them in, uh, you know it's kind of the saying iron sharpens iron. You know, and those those kids are really tough. I say kids are not kids anymore, the guys. Those guys are really tough. And, and uh, they've continued to work and battle. And you know, I think that helps us become a better basketball team and, and get to where we uh, uh, can play that major minutes if we need them. Brad, you mentioned your frustrations um, trying to be left off defensive player of the year. This <coughs> From your perspective, did you think that fueled him at all today in a good defensive challenge? I don't think it fueled him. I think he does it every single day. And, um, you know, I'm just, you know, I made my comments about that. I'm, I'm very frustrated um, because it's not a numbers deal. And, and you can you can look, and I don't know, you can, you can look and say, well, we didn't get th these steals, or he doesn't create this, or, you know, the way we play, all I can tell you is look at what the opponent's field goal percentage is against and their points per game against is. And, uh, and then factor in, and this is why basketball people understand it, if that sucker never makes a scouting report mistake, um, that's what's disappointing to me. But he lives, he lives, he lives as the best defender I've ever coached. Uh, and it's, it's, I've had some good ones. There's something special and unique today about you suddenly pausing in for defense and dominating. He's really, point. he's really strong. I mean, he can bench press the building. You know, <laughs> um, he's got great strength. We were switching. Uh, a couple of their actions, we felt much more comfortable with him um, in there, and, and uh, you know he's a high IQ player that, that understands and, and wasn't going to make a mistake. And so, uh, my hats my hats off to Brandon. He was terrific today. Brad, you, you mentioned uh, pain and used the word discouraged, and just broadly speaking, being a veteran player who transfers, moves to a different part of the country, doesn't play a whole lot, or you have freshmen who go away from home. And, 
not playing a whole lot yet, and of course they have people asking them about it and all that. How, how delicate is it for for a team, for the coach, for a team, for a season, just to you know make sure everybody's okay? And is that something that sinks a lot of team seasons? When sure, I'm sure it does. I, I, you know. You know, I, I mean, we work really, really hard at relationships, and and that's the the key. And and you know, I have this saying: character. Everybody's heard me say character over characters. And I want really good character people who understand winning. And most of them don't understand winning. They understand it in an extracurricular activity. That's what high school basketball is. It's extra extracurricular. And now they come here, and it's a business, and they have to learn to fight, and they have to learn to compete. Most importantly, they have to learn adversity. And it's most of the most, most of the time, it's the first time they've dealt with it. And so we need to be there to really build an unbelievable relationship and a trust because winning is really hard. I mean, winning is really, really hard. And at this level, we all have really good players, great facilities, great crowds. It's hard. What separates you? Character. And, you know, we try to build relationships. I've got a great, great staff. And, um, you know, that that's that's a big part of what our, our their teammates do too as well as help those guys get through those moments. Brandon, you've won two, two games in the 50s this week after back-to-back -back losses, um, including one where you gave a baby something to Ireland. What did you find out about your team this week in, in close games and ugly or something? Ugly? <laughs> uh -huh. um, just enough to know that we got a W. Um, again, I, I doesn't matter how we do it. And I, I don't care how, how we do that. And... Um, you know, we've been not 100%. That's been evident and, and well documented. Um, you, you're, you're, you know, you're going without a guy you've been with. I don't even know how long Kofi's been out. It's been a long time. And, and now to bring him back. And there's a, there's, a, there's a piece that gets a little frayed, you know, when you're not as sharp. So you figure out how to do it. But I keep telling my team every single day and every single after every game, defense travels and wins and rebounding. And, and toughness, and we've got to continue to be that 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 group. And and um, you know, when the ball doesn't go in, how are we going to win? The ball doesn't always go in, so we better figure it out. And tonight we found out. What can you do to get the those guys one. going? Grannis and Plummer, guys aren't shooting as well at, at Wake. What do you do to get those guys going? Here? Kofi probably. I and I mean and I mean that Kofi probably. That's that's a that's a big. Um, you know that Jacob benefits the most from Kofi and his ability to enter, and he's a great passer. And you know, you try to double off him and, and, and create that. So I don't worry about it. Those guys are going to be, those guys are going to be fine. It was, you know, but we're seeing a lot of people pay a lot of attention to Plummer too. He's a he's a guy a guy that is literally changing defenses and the way teams play against him. Okay, thank you, Coach.